on the stairs! Oh, they grease balls! Catch! Must have the prisoners upstairs. Clean the second floor. Scaletta, you take point. Scaletta, kick it in. Kick the damn door in, Scaletta. That's an order. Saltar il cer. Shit. Looks like we're going this way. Come on. di stare attento fregatene di fare attenzione fai ciò che ti è stato detto Quando siamo arrivati come cucina. Ma chi è quello? Lo conoscete? Eh, lo conoscono tutti. Don Calò è un uomo d'onore. È uno stupido trucco degli americani, non ditemi che gli credete. No, è davvero Don Calò. Ogni tanto dovessi ascoltare i consigli di noiazzi del posto. Ci rendiamo. Sapete che potete fidarvi di me. Che ne dite? Don Calò, the head of the Sicilian mob. An entire garrison of troops surrendered that day. Why? Because he told them to.
A few years later, the Nazis put a bullet in me. I was in the hospital for a bit, and then I got a month's leave so I could go home. At least for a little while. Vito! Over here! Joe! Hey, hey, hey! Welcome home, buddy. How'd you know? I got my sources. Come on, let's take a ride. Nice car. Comes with the territory. I know you're itching to get home, but first, let's get a beer. Yeah, sure. There it is. Empire Bay. Tell the truth, you miss it? Hey, there's a bear shit in the woods. Not like this place ever done me any favors, but anything's better than a foxhole. It's with this shitty weather. They're saying this is the coldest winter on record. Papers say it's gonna keep up like this for weeks. Don't worry, though. A drink will warm you right up. How long's it been since we had a drink together, Vito? Two years? I almost three. Tony Sicelli's party, right? Come on, Vito. Come on. The last drink we had together was right after your romance funeral. Right before you shipped out. You remember. Ah, uh, five minutes. We're already talking about my deadbeat father. Can we change the subject, please? So tell me, pal. What was it like over there, anyway? I kept reading the papers to see what was going on. And you know how much I hate reading. Yeah, I know. You guys kicked Mussolini's ass, right? Ah, uh, sort of. We had a little help from a guy named Don Calo. No shit. Don Calo. I heard of him. Really? You bet. I know guys like him over here. Wise guys. You work for them, you set. You fuck with them, you die. Nice to see you've been busy. Yeah, and I heard you got a medal, right? From old man Patton himself. Whoa, so you're a real war hero, huh? <laughs> and then what? You screwed a couple of Sicilian broads and came home? Yeah, right. <laughs> the old country. Over here, you can screw anything with a heartbeat. No one gives a shit. What a country. Here's to the U.S. of A. and to having you back home. Salud. Ah, salud. Chin down. How come you're back? They let you out early for good behavior? Nah, I took a bullet a couple months back, spent some time in the hospital, and now I'm on leave. Wait, wait, wait. You mean you gotta go back? <laughs> What'd you think? The war ain't over yet. You don't want to go back, do you? Nah, of course not, but what can I do? One minute. Wait right here. Hey, Giuseppe. It's Joe. Remember uh, last week, you know, the, guy, the guy's name is uh, Vito Scaletta. Thanks, Giuseppe. All right, I'll see you later. Okay, listen up. It appears that your injury is much more serious than it first appeared, and the doctors say you can't fight no more. What? Oh, whoa, whoa. did you just... Like I said, I know people. You get all the official paperwork tomorrow. When it comes to the right stamps and signatures, it's just a question of money. You're kidding me, right? <laughs> Isn't that a bit risky? It's me that can end up in a slammer, you know? And how am I gonna pay for it? I got it covered. Think of it as a welcome home present. And don't worry, the documents will be clean. Trust me. Well, thanks. You're welcome. Como no frade, you're like a brother to me. Now you can start thinking about what you're gonna do next. Sure. But first, I gotta go home. All right, you wanna ride? No, thanks. I want to walk around a little, see what's changed since I've been gone. No problem. Say hello to your sister for me. Come see me tomorrow. We got a lot to talk about. I can't believe you just got me out of the service. Thanks again. No problem. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Here we are. All right, thanks. Keep the change. Hey, what's the good word? How you doing, soldier? A lot better now that I'm home. You, you want leave or home for good? That's, uh, classified. 
So, uh, what's new around here? Tell the truth, not much. Everybody just wants the war to be over already. And they're saying this is the coldest winter on record. I wish I had some good news for you. Yeah, you and me both. All right, I'll see you. Catch you later, buddy. Look who's back. You're looking pretty good for a guy who just me sad. Hey, Lisa, how you doing? Francesca said you were coming back. Finally, some good there, news, soldier? eh? Yeah, no kidding. It's good to be back. You know, I'm real glad you're all right. Neighborhood just wasn't the same without you. Well, everything still looks the same around here, including you. So, uh, what are you doing later? Eh, you know, the usual cooking dinner for Tony and the kids. Oh, you got married? Boy, you didn't waste any time, huh? Come on, Vito. I'm 21 years old here. Of course I'm married with two kids. Yeah, well, it was real good seeing you. Say hello to your mother for me, will you? Take care of self, huh? Evening. This is, uh... Vito? It is you! You look so handsome in that uniform! Your mother must be so proud! Uh... And what about poor Salvatore Montemaggiore? How is he doing? His poor mother was expecting him home a week ago! Yeah, uh... Sal joined the Navy. I'm in the Army. It's different. Why don't you come inside and have some tea with me, Vito? You could tell me all about it. Thanks, but I'm kind of in a hurry. Uh, I just got back, and I can't wait to see my mother and Frankie. Such a pretty girl, that Francesca. It's a wonder she's not married yet. Well, say hello to your mother for me, Vito. Come on, Marie. Let him go. Yeah, we'll be right back. Forget it, you two. It's just one lousy beer. Crazy broad. That's what he said the last time. And then he comes home at three in the morning smelling like gin and another dame's perfume. Hey, Georgie, come on. You don't gotta listen to everything your old lady says, do you? George isn't going anywhere. Now scram! <laughs> that crazy broad's really got Georgie by the balls, huh? Hey, more beer for us, right? Let's go. Thanks, kid. Evening, mister. I think you'll find the quality is well worth the price.
Come again. Andare, con te ho chiuso! Vai, vattene da quell'altro! 